Hey y'all, today I have a special order for a Taylor Swift folklore cake. So this cake is actually gonna be hand painted and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications anytime videos like this post. To start this cake, I have already crumb coated my cake and I am just gonna ice it as usual. And if you don't know how to crumb coat a cake, I have a video to show you exactly how, so you can check that out to get the perfect crumb coat. Okay, I have finished icing my cake and I am going to stick this in the refrigerator just to get nice and solid while I roll out my fondant to cover the sides. And I am just using store-bought fondant. So I'm just kneading it until it's nice and soft and then I'll roll it out big enough to fit all the way around my cake. I'll move this over here. start rolling this out. Something really important to remember when you're rolling out white fondant is your white fondant shows everything. So make sure to clean your countertops and your rolling pin and everything really well before so you don't have a bunch of specks of dust and stuff in your fondant. My fondant is rolled out now, so I am gonna take my knife and just make a straight edge across the bottom, and then I will take my chilled cake and we can wrap this around it. Now is the scary part, <laughs> for me at least. We are going to take our fondant and just drape it around the sides of my cake. So I am gonna do this, I think, by rolling it up and then taking it and just unwrapping it around my cake. I want to, as quickly as possible, cut the excess off the back so that the weight isn't pulling And then I'll go around and just make sure everything's smooth. Where my fondant, you can see kind of right here, my fondant has lined up and is overlapping. So I'm gonna make sure this is all straight. And there's no bumps. I'm gonna line it up on top of each other. And then with a sharp knife, I'm gonna cut through both layers. Now I'm just gonna take some scissors and cut above the top of my cake. So I want about an inch maybe at the top. I'm just gonna cut all the way around. This way it's not heavy and it will stand up straight. And then I will stick this in the freezer for like five minutes or the refrigerator for like 15, just so my fondant hardens up and then I can cut along this edge and I'll have a really straight, smooth edge. And then while my cake is in the freezer, I am going to roll out my leftover fondant. 
This I want to keep pretty thick, but I'll roll it out. And then I have just a round cookie cutter that I'll cut. Now that this is cut out, this is going to be a little cake topper for our cake. So I'm going to take a paintbrush and just put little divots in the side going all the way around. And then I will just set this aside to dry so that we can use it later. My cake is fresh out of the freezer, so my fondant is nice and stiff. And I am just gonna take my knife, level with my cake, and slide all the way around so that I get a nice, even edge. Now that my fondant is cut off, I'm just gonna go back with my little spatula and smooth out where my fondant and buttercream meet so that I have a nice clean seam. Now for the fun part, which is painting the outside of this cake. So as I said before, this cake is folklore themed, which if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you know exactly what that is. But if you're not, that's the album, which has a cover like this. So we're going to paint this cover on the outside of our cake. I just have little plastic cups that I will put a little bit of black food coloring in the bottom. And then I will mix this with just a little bit of vodka. And the reason I use vodka is because the alcohol evaporates, leaving behind just the color. To start, I'm going to start with my lightest color of gray. So I just have a little bit of vodka in a cup and I'm taking some of my darker vodka and black and mixing it in so I just get a really light gray. I am just starting with my lightest color trees and just starting with the trunks. So just straight lines up. And then I can go back and add my leaves as I go. All right, so now that I have done most of my cake, I've kind of gotten the hang of what I'm doing. So I am starting in the back with my lightest gray. So my paint with just more vodka in it to lighten it out. And I do just kind of shadows of trees and lighter trees because they're further away. And then as I get closer, you can see kind of right here that it gets darker as it gets closer. You can see I've put just a really light tree here. This was actually my tester tree on the back, but I will go back and I have just a paintbrush that I have tried to fray. So I just hit it. This is like what not to do to a brush, but kind of rub it, beat it up a little. And then when I dip it in my paint, starting with my lightest and tap, And then I will go back with a little bit darker, tapping off my brush. And then once this dries, I can go back with another layer so I get this dimension and color.
My cake is done being painted besides the little person, which is Taylor on the front. So I am going to practice painting her on just a little piece of fondant. And then once I'm comfortable doing it here, I'll go ahead and paint it onto my cake just so I don't mess up the front. Okay, my cake is finished being painted, and then I have my little topper that I made that I am going to write happy birthday on in the folklore font. So I have just, whoop, I just Googled like folklore font and the alphabet came up in pictures. So I have this here for me to use while I write happy birthday, but I just have little tools that I will write it out in and then I'll go back and paint over it. Okay, I have done this like, well, two times. I did the back and didn't like it, so I flipped it over and did the front too. But this is done, and I am going to do my border on top now. So I'm going to find my front, which is here, and I'm gonna start to the back left. And I'm just gonna do shells all the way around. I'm just pushing pressure coming up and then losing pressure as I go down and doing this, pushing pressure, losing and pulling down. Now that my border is done on top, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing again to the back left, just stacking these on top of each other. And then I'll do a few little stars and prop this up right there. And then I just have some gray sprinkles that I will sprinkle all around on top. And there you go, y'all. We have our hand-painted Taylor Swift folklore cake, perfect for any party for a Taylor Swift fan. But if you enjoyed this detailed cake, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so we can change the world one cake at a time.